another YouTube a quick uh, video about the Inkbird ITC100 temperature controller and specifically a annoying little um, inconsistency in their documentation so the pamphlet that comes with the Inkbird ITC100 and one of their online manuals state that to get it into the auto calibration um, feature which is running right now you have to press and hold the left arrow key which says AT run on it for two seconds and that will enter the calibration mode however um, that only works the first time you power the unit on after that you have to go into the setup of the controller to a parameter called CTRL and that has to be set to option 2 and then the unit will enter the auto calibration mode um, one other thing that isn't mentioned in the documentation the auto calibration mode can take a long time depending on the process you are trying to control so if you have something that changes temperature quickly this can be a relatively quick process but if you have something that has a large lag in temperature so for example mine I'm heating a large amount of liquid um, this auto calibration or auto tuning process can actually take quite a long time to complete and you probably want to do that with a process that is very similar to your end process so if you go and change your setup move your thermocouple etc you are going to have to recalibrate this controller so again if you want to get the Inkbird ITC100 into auto tune or auto calibration mode you have to go into the setup and change the parameter CTRL to number two and we found this in an older Inkbird manual that was on the internet but not in the one that comes with the unit itself